As I continue my journey through Victoria, I'm now on Melbourne's Mornington Peninsula, a region well known for its spectacular scenery, its golf courses, its art galleries, its restaurants, and guess what? It's wine. Now, I don't normally like to ask questions about wine other than where is my next glass coming from, but I do want to ask Tom Carson from the Abbey Lake Vineyard, why wine in Victoria in the first place? Where does it start? Where does it come from? Very long history. Uh, back to 1838 um, in Victoria, the first mm. vineyard was planted from cuttings imported from France. What makes the wine from Mornington Peninsula particularly special? What physically makes this wine taste as good? Well, it is the best region in Australia for growing Pinot Noir, without a doubt. And I think one of the biggest influences is the fact that it is a peninsula. Mm. There is water on three sides, so it's a very maritime climate, very mm. cool, moderated by the Southern Ocean, which um, really takes the heat off the region. And, and Pinot Noir particularly is sensitive to hot weather. And the Mornington just has that wonderful, uh, moderate, climate that uh, Pinot thrives in. Let's just go back because I think it's absolutely fascinating the idea that in fact wine starts in Victoria in the 1830s. Does that mean actually that, that then genetically the vines that you've got actually come from the 1830s? Back in the 1830s, um, pre the phylloxera epidemic in France where mm. you know most of the vineyards in France had to be replanted over a 20 to 30 year period so our genetic stock is ancient but there's also a very modern edge to it mm. uh, the exploration of the cooler climates in Victoria, Mornington Peninsula, Yarra Valley and you know developing that fine wine culture but the thing about wine is is the respect for uh, the place from which it comes mm. from so I don't think we're better than Europe we're just different so and that's that, and so that's grown up of you. <laughs> but of course, the main thing, after all, is uh, uh, the fact that it really does taste extraordinarily lovely. And here we are chatting when we should be drinking. Yeah, we should be. Yeah. Cheers. Now I've checked my baggage into the wonderfully warm hospitality of Lisa Dempsey, owner of Big Blue Backyard, which is at the doorstep of all to do on the Mornington Peninsula. To me, I'm, I'm really fabulously surprised about this being Australia, this being Melbourne, this being Victoria. It has that real feeling of laid back surfer culture, but underpinned with this very sort of bohemian, artistic, uh, interesting, creative, unusual. Is that, is that what drew you here? First of all, it was the ocean that drew us here. Mm. Um, and, and what's happened is living here, we've evolved and become part of that community that is slightly bohemian. But at the same time, for guests to wake up yeah. here where it's so still, and yet in five minutes they can access the world's best wine vineyards, the world's best golf courses, and just superb beaches. Charles Davidson has built an oasis of his own here too, harnessing the 50 degree rich mineral waters from the depths of the peninsula. And it's for all of those who need a bit of sensual healing. What you've done here, I mean, it's an absolutely extraordinary place. And what you've done here is sort of create a series of, of spa opportunities that, that people can use it to, to relax and, and uh, very much as a curative thing. How does the cure idea work? Well, look, it's, it's drawing on the core product, which is the natural hot spring waters. If you see people as they're walking in the door and you see the transformation of when they're walking out the door, it, it's astounding. One of the things that really strikes me about the Mornington Peninsula is it's, it's got a, a real sense of civilised but quite natural luxury to it. I like to think of the peninsula as the Renaissance Peninsula. And I say that because it's got such a depth of culture with art galleries and outdoor sculpture parks. It's got uh, 54 wineries mm -hmm. and a whole lot more vineyards, uh, over 150 vineyards. There's 17 golf courses. You've got the ocean and the bay mm -hmm. within virtual walking distance. You've got surfing and yeah. sailing. You've got uh, small safe beaches for families and then rough beaches for, for people who really enjoy those outdoor water sports. Hardy, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's astounding and that, that, that gives you joy every day when we come to work just to see the, the transformation that happens in everybody who comes here's uh, faces and their way of being. 